well. I'm so tired today. Oh, my camera's flashing. Love that for me. I'm just getting ready. I have Krav Maga today, which is a Israeli martial arts that I do with my dad. I'm just gonna have a quick wash and get ready and go to that and then I'll catch up with you afterwards. I've just changed the battery. I, I'll be honest, I kind of feel like I don't have a clue where my other battery is. I've got three and I can't find the other one. I don't know if I took it on holiday or not, which is bizarre because I don't actually think I filmed anything on here for my, for my holiday. If I did, I'm gonna have a look at the footage now and if I did, then I'll insert it because it'll probably be cute stuff from the holiday I got engaged on. You're welcome. And I'm home. That was actually quite a hard session. Pretty tough session, I'll be honest. I am going to take my braids out today. I've just had enough. I, so I've had them in now for about, um, quite a while to be honest. I've had them in for about, I wanna say about six weeks. And to be honest, like they don't look awful. I refreshed them a few days ago. No, a few about a week or so ago. They're really long, they go literally down past my bum. But I'm just kind of bored of having braids. I get to a certain point and I'm just like, right, time for a change. I think I'm gonna try and do a sew-in for myself or by myself. Don't know how well or how good that will be. But I'm going to give it a go. The only thing is, these braids are so small, so I reckon it's going to take me the best part of all day to um, take them out, which is not ideal, but hopefully my mum will help me. Um, last night when I left the vlog, I did my mum's braids. I just did a full set of braids for her. And it actually only took me five hours, which I'm not even... That is so good for me. Usually it takes me, like, days, so... I'm quite pleased about that. But yeah, I'm home now and I think I'm going to, first of all, dye the bundles that I got. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure on the bundles. I feel like they might be a bit short, but they are body wave and I don't think I've ever had body wave before. Usually I get like just straight and these are, they're just shrunk. I'll go get them. These are the bundles that I've got and, ugh. I just think they're really short. I mean, I guess if this is, so I've got 20, between 14, 16, eight, I've got 14, 16, 18, and 20. And these are the 20 inch ones, I think. And to me, it just looks so short. But is it because my braids are literally like down past my bum? I don't know if I'll be able to do it because to be honest, I've never even given myself a weave before. So I don't know why I feel like now's the time but if you're new here then i should probably explain i literally feel like changing my hair every two weeks even though when you put braids in you have to like hold it down so yeah these are the bundles they're i don't know about the quality really to be honest i just ordered some bundles off amazon i just wanted um a hairstyle for this party that i've got on um in december i think it's on saturday or friday next week and I still don't have an outfit, so we need to have a look at some outfits for that because I'm struggling with what to wear to it. But yeah, I'm going to dye these bundles quickly. I say quickly, as quickly as possible. I think I'm going to mainly focus on dyeing the 20 inch, the 18 and the 16. And then if I have any dye left over, then I'll put it through the 14 because I still want it to be relatively long. But I want, I don't know if it's going to work, but I think what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna put the 20 at the bottom, then the 18, then the 14, in the hopes that it gives me more of like that layered look. Hopefully it doesn't look too blunt, but I'm gonna go through and cut it anyway, and just like blend it through. But that's kind of my thought process on that, just so that when I've got my hair like curled and blown out, it will look like a bouncy blow dry. I don't really want it to look like, you know, a hot mess. But I guess we'll find out because I actually have no idea what I'm doing and it's trial and error. So I'll take you along for that. <laughs> it 
will be quite a journey to be honest and yeah i actually picked up a curling tong yesterday from tk maxx i didn't end up bringing the box home because it just wasn't going to fit in my suitcase but um it was the wall curling tong and it was supposed to be 17 pound 99 like retail price and then at tk maxx it was like 12 pounds i just thought i'll just grab that because i don't have like a dyson air wrap or um anything to do with dyson at all like i don't have that sort of hair tools i don't know how to do a bouncy blowout and i don't feel like practicing now so i just thought i'd get a curling tong pin curl my hair but just pin curl it um inwards and then outwards and then inwards just so that it looks like um a blow dry in the hopes and then obviously getting body wave helps because it's already got that curl and that bounce but yeah i'm gonna go dye these black and see how I get on with that. So this is the hair dye that I found. It's just a squat, squat, scoff, scoff, scoff. Um, this is a black one. I don't think, I don't think I've used this. No, I haven't. I just found it in the airing cupboard. I think I must have bought it to do um, a while ago and then completely forgot about it. I'm gonna take my jewelry off <laughs> just in case i get dye on it honestly i've missed vlogging so much i feel like once i started um like working and navigating going through that it was almost like i forgot how to vlog i felt like i didn't know what i was doing anymore it was really weird it was a weird feeling i feel like obviously most people that vlog do it for their full-time like jobs and stuff like that i don't so it was really hard to like navigate how to do that I'm gonna get a plastic bag. I've just gone for the bag that um, the stuff came in, and I'm just gonna shove them in there, I think. Hopefully, I don't make too much of a mess. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, I feel like since I started the world of work, I've just been so like in my own bubble that I haven't even thought about doing YouTube or anything like that. I mean, I love going on TikTok and things, but I don't know. YouTube's just my platform. It always has been. I really like it. I'm just opening these. What I find really funny is how natural it feels to be black. Black? Oh, <laughs> black too. But how natural it feels to be black vlogging. Just feels normal again. So maybe I'll update you whilst I'm just sorting this out on some of my plans for the future I just put that in here I always dye my bundles jet black or any wig or anything that I use I always dye it black because my hair my natural hair is honestly it's so black it's blue they're processing now I'm just going to leave them they're just in a bag and um, I don't actually know how long I'm just to leave them for and the instructions are right at the bottom I think what I'm going to do is leave it to process for about well, until I do half of this hair coming out and then I'll rinse it out and then I'll leave it in the deep conditioner for maybe an hour or so. For reference, this is how long they are. So they literally go down to my knees. Um, don't know if I'd ever do braids this long again to be honest I mean I say that but then if having short braids just isn't for me I, I want my braids to like literally just be so yeah the only annoying thing about these is look how many are on my head so yeah I'm gonna go and start taking these out and I'll catch up with you maybe when they're out you know literally starting now I have cut my braids so they're really short <laughs> and I'm going to start taking them out and I'll catch up with you when I take them out I think it will probably take me about a few hours to get these out maybe even shorter period of time so yeah Sorry, I'll catch up with you afterwards I'm already dreading it I'm just watching good girls also I just remembered I completely forgot to show you what I ate I had um some salmon uh rice and some avocado which is like one of my favorite like lunch uh dinner food so i just had that and yeah we're gonna sit now and take my braids out my mum's helping me so let's go 
and I'm finished like they're all out now so I can actually start the process of figuring out what I'm gonna do with my hair now I've dyed those bundles and I think I'm going to weave it but it's quite late now it's about well, what time? oh my god it's quarter to seven I thought it was earlier than that I've just been eating some crisps on it I seem to have it all over my face um yeah so I think what I'm gonna do is go in the shower wash my hair blow dry it I might straighten it no in fact I'll lightly straighten it so that when I do um braid it down it's really really flat and then um I'm going to start the braiding pattern for my weave and then I think I might start weaving it tomorrow I might let the bundles air dry and yeah I might go from there I can't remember me and my mum just sat and um took all those braids out genuinely without my mum helping me I think I'd still in fact not even I think I would definitely still be doing it she's got some technique and it literally takes her all of two seconds to get everything out also yesterday in yesterday's vlog you'll have seen my makeup and I feel like it looks quite nice and I've decided to um kind of change it up and use something a little bit different um I am getting quite pale at the moment i'm losing my tan i had over the summer and so i've gone a shade lighter on my concealer i always use the Too Faced concealer to be honest i don't really i'm not a big makeup person i just find something that works and that's it like i don't go makeup shopping often i just kind of get on with it um but that being said um i've gone lighter on my can see the shade i think i could probably even go a, a bit lighter than this as well this is butterscotch that i've been using um i'll just swatch it for you now it's a nice color it's just actually you probably wouldn't go any lighter than that it's just um it's quite heavy so as i'm somebody that doesn't wear foundation i find that it's got quite a lot of coverage so i don't really feel the need to use it but like do you see what I mean that why I feel like maybe I could go a little bit lighter on the concealer it just blends into my skin so I might look to get another color but anyway what I was saying what I actually came to say is so um I just use I've been using this pink powder and I wasn't really sure whether the pink powder was going to be for me or not but wow it's actually so lovely it's so i wear a lot of blush i think everybody's kind of into their blush at the moment and yesterday i was wearing a uh, cowlick by uh made by mitchell and this is like a really hot pink and i like this more for the cold um like for the winter colder days and then in the summer i usually go for where's the spf if you're of a darker complexion i'd really recommend this color i feel like this color is just really really rich and just is it this one that i recommend yeah and there's another one as well i can't remember the other one that everybody went crazy for i've got so many of them but this is just my everyday makeup this is like a raw orangey um like sun kiss look so that's like my summer blush and then i like a little orangey glow and then for the winter and the colder months i go for cowlick by made by mitchell in the blush is it called blush or have i just yeah blush and it's like a hot pink because obviously it's colder i feel like the blood rushes to your nose a lot more i mean don't know about anybody else but my nose goes really red like you can kind of see it now like all around here goes red so i go for like a more of a pinky blush in the winter so that's like my winter shade that i usually go for and then that would be my summer but um yeah like i was saying because i've been using like a pinky blush this really works and like blends together with it and it's so lovely i feel like i would never even consider using a pink setting powder and the reason why i just picked up um the first one i could find in the in the drugstore um is because where i where i live is i haven't got um where i live just to go and get um like 
high-end beauty or high-end makeup it's just not accessible so i just grabbed this one from superdrug which is by revelation revolution and it's the color rose and actually it's really nice i'll be honest for the creasing like into the eye it's not the best i think maybe it could be could be due to me and how i put it on so i might even consider using the laura mercier powder underneath and then going in with this on top for like the color as well but all in all it's quite nice and then i just i mean obviously it's like ashy at first but then when you set it down it just blends really nicely into your um into your blush and like your concealer and everything so yeah just thought i'd update you on that but i'm gonna go and wash my hair now um i'm trying to think if there's anything else that i'm gonna do today that to show you i kind of feel like today's been a bit of a rubbish i don't want to say rubbish but like i haven't really done a lot today and there's no point in me like dragging you along and like forcing myself to do things that i wouldn't necessarily do i don't know about anybody else but i actually really enjoy vlogs that are at home and um, more specifically when people actually do things i feel like i've been from bathroom to bathroom bedroom to you know out and about ish i haven't really done anything but um i don't know i feel like once when i've been out all day like i was yesterday when i the next day i just need time to just relax um tomorrow i'm not really got anything planned i think i'm gonna maybe go for a walk with quigley in the morning and my mum will see if she wants to and then uh get some food shopping done and probably finish and style my hair so tomorrow's vlog will probably be um looking at my hair and seeing what i can do with that i have actually started these vlogmas vlogs a bit earlier just to account for the days where i can't vlog when i'm like away or you know things like that um so i have started a few days earlier just so that i am consistent with 30 days if i can be and um yeah i actually quite like vlogging i think it's such a nice it's like getting all your thoughts out so yeah sorry for the angles i feel, I don't, I feel like i'm giving sorry for these angles i just feel really weird about filming in my house now especially now that i've got a job <laughs> if i'm honest i feel like it's quite strange so i just kind of film in set places in my house so you'll probably only see the same few places um just until i move out just for my parents privacy um so yeah uh what else was i gonna say oh yeah monday i might bring you along i'm actually going out with um on my work day which should be good um we're actually going to this place where we play darts and stuff. Uh, we're not doing much this year, which is nice, kind of, because I feel like not everybody actually likes going and doing stuff, um, for, like Christmas parties and things like that. Some people don't drink, some people um, don't really like doing activities. It's kind of hard to accommodate for everybody, but I think this will be a really good time. So I might take, it might film a, a few bits on my phone obviously i'm not going to film with anybody at work i would never do that but just to kind of show you where i've been i might get ready with you that day um i've kind of figured out that i'm probably going to wear the same outfit i wore the other day in the other vlog so don't get excited i'm probably going to wear the exact same thing um but yeah i think i'm going to leave it and call it a day one thing i will say is though those cashews from ms that are dipped in chocolate i am honestly eating them every day and I won't eat like a whole pack. I'll have like one or two and then I'll be like, oh, I could eat the whole pack. Genuinely, I could sit there and probably eat the whole pack, but I would feel unwell. But they're just so lovely. Like, you know, when you just fancy something sweet. Yeah, love them. But yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Tomorrow, I think we'll sort my hair out and things like that. But if I come on the vlog and my hair's done, then I'm so sorry because that's just typical me. I'll get impatient and just start, but i know that the braid down is going to take me quite some time so yeah um off i go and i'll see you tomorrow good night